right here we've got the 2000 Dolphin. Uh, we just brought this puppy in. 5350 is the model code. I'll let you kind of look over the whole unit. Start on the outside and then uh, do the huge and uh, go over to the inside. I do have it running because it's a little chilly out today. We've got them parked a little close together. I'll let you kind of see underneath here. A little bit back and then I'll zip you guys around. I know one of the questions you had um, was on tires, and yes, the tread is pretty decent on them. They are definitely not new. The only uh, date stamp I was able to find is going to be on the back tire over on this other side here, so bear with me. A little bit of damage back here, nothing terrible. Tow bar. kind of the back half of it. My camera just flipped. Uh, my date stamp on here, and these are good years, is right here, 0508. So hopefully you guys can get a clear shot of that. I'll uh, bring you guys around now. Go to the inside. And we have not had a chance to clean this one out. So there's still going to be, uh, you know, some post-customer things in here. All right, close the door. So here's the couch. I know in the pictures online, uh, it still has a blanket over it. <coughs> not in bad shape. Um, not, sorry, my coffee cup's getting in there. Not 100% perfect either, but definitely not going to have to throw it away anytime soon. Bring you guys into the front dash area here. Got your levelers, pretty straightforward. Give you a quick overview of your dash. 64,000 miles on her. Tape deck, looks like my camera is pretty low light sensitive here. Looks like they got a little rolly tree up here. Some power outlets down below. Lighter color carpeting so there's some staining on it <laughs> chairs look decent again the floor lighter colored kind of picks up the dirt a little bit better but nothing terrible you've got a little rocking uh, oh I'm falling over the engine hump here a little rocking recliner chair here a little pull out table that would come out right here if you guys wanted to you know essentially set up and do your thing Looks like they've got a little dust buster setting. And I guess I'll bring you through the whole rest of the unit quick. Pretty decent counter space, plus this uh, piece over here does flip up to give you a lot more. Coffee maker, looks like they've got a little hang rack back here. Looks like you've got a convection microwave here. Big stove top does not have the oven since it has the convection. I'll spin you. Booth dinette. They did put a, uh, a little microwave, not a microwave, a little refrigerator down here. Looks like we've got day night shades kind of throughout. Woodwork is kind of like everything of the era. Nice raised panel uh, back when they were doing stuff with actual wood versus nowadays where it's most of the time a little on the, the cheaper side. Fridge and freezer. Not terrible for never being cleaned out. We'll get you guys going into the, the bath here. Nice little toilet. Sink, medicine cabinet type area. Roof vent. I'll get you going into the shower. It's got like a little bathtub with a chair setting kind of thing. Nice handheld. Looks like they've got all their uh, soaps and whatnot right there. Looking at the dome up top here and around the sides, more importantly, not seeing any evidence of water leaking in. That spot's usually pretty notorious. Lots of cabinets, lots of drawers, sliding pocket doors. Looks like we've got a heat sensor back here. Got some more door 
cabinet drawers over here. Guess I haven't even opened them yet. There we go. Yep, just shelvings. TV up in the corner. Windows on either side. Of course, the bed in the middle. And then just, you know, your usual cabinets over the headboard. And again, nothing terrible. All looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, bang for the buck on this unit's pretty phenomenal. I know they have this thing priced pretty aggressively. I will uh, go through now and kind of give you guys a roof shot because I know that everyone's always interested in those. And again, it looks pretty clean, pretty clear. And I'll zip you back this way. So all in all, looks to be a pretty decent unit. Nothing that's jumping out and biting me. If you guys are looking for a nice entry level unit, this would uh, probably be the trick. Won't have a whole lot of money invested and keep going down the road. I do have the thing running, like I said, and it's, it's not loud at all. It's nice and quiet. The exhaust is good. Engine sounds clean.